Have you been to an anti Donald Trump website recently? Have you been to a maybe progressive or liberal or even democratic website that said something bad about Donald Trump or actually not even said something bad, but reported the truth about Donald Trump? Well, if so, then I have good news for you. The U S department of justice wants to get to know you, but not in the way that you probably want them to. According to a blog post by the uh, web hosting company, Dreamhost, they have been involved in a legal battle with the U S department of justice for several months as the U S department of justice is trying to gain information, access to information to people who visit what they call quote, anti-Trump websites. This is a disgusting abuse of power and is 100% unconstitutional. The department of justice led by AG Jeff Sessions wants to get your personal data just because you may not like Donald Trump where you got curious and clicked on a website. You didn't do anything wrong. You were trying to gain knowledge, but in this country today under Donald Trump and Jeff Sessions, knowledge is bad. The truth is bad. You know, it's only a matter of time before they enact the 1984 thought police coming out to, to gather information or haul us away. If we even say anything bad about Donald Trump folks, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theories going on, uh, both from the right and the left to an extent, uh, today in politics. This is one of those things that everybody needs to be talking about. This is not a conspiracy theory. There's an ongoing legal battle. There are court documents to back this up. This is truly disgusting behavior and it all flows from the top, which is Donald Trump. His ego is so fragile. His administration is so weak that they want to find out who doesn't like them. They want to target these people. What are they going to do with this information? We don't know. But I assure you it's not so that they can send you a birthday card or maybe a Christmas present. It's because they want to keep tabs on American citizens who may not dis, uh, may not agree with Donald Trump. That is not what this country is all about. And it also goes back to the fact that these surveillance programs, this unmasking of data began under uh, uh, George W. Bush was continued under Barack Obama who could have and should have shut it down. But because he didn't Donald Trump and department of justice, uh, uh, Jeff Sessions, they now have these tools. They now have 17 years of precedent behind them to obtain the information that they want. The folks at Dreamhost can fight this all they want, but you're going in court systems that have been packed by Republican hacks. Many of the people sitting on those benches were appointed by George W. Bush. Donald Trump has done a hell of a job putting people uh, on the courts without any public scrutiny whatsoever, because the media won't talk about that. And ultimately those are going to be the people deciding whether or not these web hosting companies have to turn over your personal private data just because you visited an anti Donald Trump website. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on ring of fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.